So I noticed a lot of persons have uh, issue with the uh, Binance verification, intermediate verification. And if you want to know how to do that verification effectively, let's say you are having an issue with Binance verification, you want to know how to do it effectively, you have to watch this video to the end. It's very important. So this is what you're actually doing wrong. This is the reason why Binance is not verifying you, especially Nigerians, all right? Especially Nigerians. So watch this video to the end, all right? verification can be a little bit tough as especially when you don't know exactly what to do but if you are following the instruction if you are following everything detailed in detail it's very very easy all right it's very very easy now let me talk about those that because uh, what, what you just need is your national id all right let me talk about those that are in nigeria all right it also applies to those that are in other country all right because um, most people that are not verified most cases that i have received like via email are those that are from nigeria that are not getting verified based on the fact that their id is one there are one or two things that are wrong with their id now these are the ids that binance accept for your verification they accept an id that is a, a kind of your your national id card all right let's say your national id card is accepted those that are in Nigeria, you know, you know how long it takes to get a national ID card. It takes like five years or, or even six, ten years. Some person that have done theirs like about six years ago haven't gotten there. Like mine, you can see it's just name slip that is here. All right, I did this is uh, six years ago, but it's just it's just the name slip. All right, Binaz accept that link slip. All right, that is this name slip that you see here. I have to cover some things. All right, let me cover some things with my hands. Okay, you can see how it is. All right, it's actually black and white, but most places most people don't accept this like those that apply for assets assets don't accept this but finance does accept this all right let me say you've been uploading this for long and then they will not be accepting it. this there's something that you're actually doing wrong and those things i'm going to mention it before the end of this video so you have to watch this video to the end all right so they accept link slip they accept your voter's card your voter's card is accepted and then your your driving license is accepted all right driving license is accepted and then your passport immigration passport or international passport whatever you call it is also accepted these are the four documents that they accept these are the four acceptable documents that you can submit for finance verification all right i understand that most persons don't have a voter's card because you raise it after every four years right and probably this is not the during election every election all right and and uh, the, uh, the international passport i understand that it is very costly to acquire all right in nigeria and most persons don't have the intention to travel yet so they feel it, they find it useless to, to pay a large sum of money and then still not use it for something you know useful all right so and the available one the cheapest available one is this all right now i'm going to tell you some things that you need to do for this to be accepted all right most perhaps most person thinks that this is just you know this they just accept the blue, the colored copy of this but even as black and white as this is you can see if you look at it you can still see some traces of my face but it is accepted now even your voters card can be rejected during verification this is what you need to do let me extend the driving license and then the international passport because those ones are clear copies all right this one here the name slip and the voter's card are always not clear all right they are not clear they are always not clear all right now this is what you need to do now this name slip normally uh this is the print out the black and white for you now when you're uploading now the verification process has changed recently before now you will have to upload the document, scan a clear copy and upload. But now, what you have to do is, when you get to verification interface, you have to, you know, scan the document just as it is. You have to scan the document just as it is. Like you don't have, to, there's no, there's no pre-scanning or anything. 
you scan it immediately and send it so if not scan you snap it immediately with your mobile phone or with your verification device so it is advised to do this with your mobile phone because your laptop camera may not be clear enough all right so scan the document and upload now why most persons are scanning when you scan sometimes you have to look at look out for there is the number the name slip number the the, the name number that is the number the national identity number all right and then some your picture and some other little details below has to be clear so if your phone is not giving you a clear copy now you have to use another device so you, which means you, have, you literally have to scan this under a good lighting all right and your a laminated copy of your name slip is not accepted no matter how clear the scan it is, as long as it's laminated, it's not accepted. All right, laminated copy of whatever is not accepted online in most cases, in almost all cases. All right, these days. All right, don't scan a laminated. If your ID is laminated, go and photocopy it and scan the photocopied copy. All right, I actually do this for so many persons. They have to put photocopy it and then you know put it into the shape that it's supposed to be in and then you scan it. All right, so and then. Like I mentioned earlier, clear camera, no uh, uh, laminated copy, and then even if it's black and white, to be accepted. All right. Then if you are using your 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 voter's card, now you have to scan a clear copy too. It has to be clear. So if you are one of those persons that have this kind of blur voter's card, some parts have been wiped out. I'm sorry, you have to get a national ID because that voter's card will not be accepted. All right. So now, after scanning a clear copy, now if, if you notice on the verification side, you will see that this there's something like upload a front and back copy of your ID, and we all know that this just has a front copy, all right? It just has a front copy. So what you need to do is scan this front copy. When you get to the front copy, scan this and send. Now, when it gets to the back copy, scan this and send as well and then there's another section that says take a selfie all right normally you upload a passport or, or a portrait of yourself but right now this section now what you have to do is just take a good clear selfie of yourself which means it's not always good to do this verification in the night and when doing yeah there's one thing i forgot to mention when doing this scanning this scanning avoid flashes you know there is uh, when you scan a document on that line you see flash will affect one side or maybe you're using flash you're using flash on your camera to affect one side and then you see the flash you know blurring or or, or you, know, you know making some part of the the, the photo not clear all right avoid flashes scan this under lighting but avoid flashing uh, flashes or you can scan it under natural light which is very very good as well all right then when it gets to the portrait side take a clear portrait of yourself the, the, the position you take is doesn't matter as long as your face your facial, you know, expression, everything is just shown. Don't, don't smile. Just keep your face normal, like, all right, like that. Okay, something normal face. You get the point now. All right. Then another thing is, why doing your uh, after doing that, the next place it, it will take you to the uh, facial verification that the camera will tell you. Now uh, you fixing your face. There's a shave. All right. A shape like a human portrait shape now all you need to do is shift your camera a little bit backward and fit it into that shape and now the whatever the, the this the, the verification uh, stuff will tell you shake your head now make sure you shake your head gently nod it will tell you to nod you nod blink blink as fast as you can all right most times most times when you fix it, your face there the you know what the uh, stuff will not really identify that someone has actually been there based on some of you yeah 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 there's something most person when they fix their face there the stuff is not saying anything so most that you have to let the shake later and then it will, show, it will start telling you what to do all right because what you're waiting for is for it to tell you what what exactly you need to start doing all right and this is very important this is very important those ladies that have lashes that have lashes <laughs> This is very funny because it happened to somebody, all right? It happened to somebody here while I was trying to assist her to do the verification. You know, the star was telling her, please remove your hands from your face. I don't know, what do you This girl is putting her face, everything is really clear. Like, it's clear, like your face is clear. Why is this telling you remove your hands from your face? Man, it was the lashes, all right? She had to remove the lashes before 
that facial verification could go through. So if you are putting on lashes, that scanner may not may not identify you as a human being. It may identify the lashes as a hand covering your face. So you have to, you know, make sure that your face is actually clear. You remove the hat if you are wearing a hat. If you jab, if you are wearing a jab, you remove it. So let your face just be as it is, just like mine is right now. Okay. So now I believe now you understand this. Now if you've done all these things right within the I literally say it takes in 30, less than 30 minutes, all right? But within the next 10 seconds, your verification will be done. Like, you just receive a message. You just see that verify button, tick, verify, you're verified. And that's all you need to transact on Binance, to transact on P2P, and to make other transactions. And you know that Binance have made a kind of uh, uh, automaton to those that have not done their intermediate verification, that if you don't do this intermediate verification, your account will be restricted to just withdrawal, on it, all right. This is a Binance case, all right. This is them trying to, you know, uh, you know, avoid some cases of fraud and stuff like that. So, if by now you've gotten to the point of this video, congratulations! You have watched my video to the end, all right. Now, I want you to just subscribe to my channel right now. There's a subscription button there. Then there's one notification bell button that says all, all right. Just enable it so that anytime I upload videos like this, you just get to see it, all right. So you want to be seeing videos like this, you get to see it, and then. Get to utilize it more, all right. And before we end this video, do y'all see how Shiba Inu is bumping? Oh God, all right. You need to subscribe because I actually made a video on this Shiba Inu some time ago, and a lot of people were like, ah, oh, props. But right now, someone who invested like about ten dollars is getting about uh, it's five dollars, or yeah, something there about. All right. So imagine you got like hundred dollars into it, you have you be happy about like eight eight hundred dollars. You see, get the point now. So. You get the point now. So subscribe to my channel and then comment. Comment your thoughts, comment your challenges. I will make video on any of those. So thank you for watching my video. See you in my next video. Bye.